Yo, a ATA International Vlogs. Tune in. Grab a cheer and zoom in. Fully. Then no. So we go. Baby. Fully. Fully. Then no. So we go. Yeah, man. Big up and bless up to all my beautiful and wonderful peeps. What's going on? If you're a new viewer here, I ask that you please subscribe and also share the content. And if you also have anything, you know what I mean, to say about the content, please do leave a comment in the comment section. What we do over here is entertainment, upliftment, motivation, positive thoughts, and positive vibes. And also, the reason why I ask you to share is because it's sometimes you don't know. Some things discussed over here, maybe it's not for you, but you know somebody might be going through a rough part in their day and then you share the content to them and then the motivational speech will probably uplift them you see it big up and bless up to each and everyone you know who has been subscribing to the channel who has been supporting the channel thus far i go by the name of african the artist and welcome to ata international vlogs and you know we like to kick off the thought of the day you know we like to kick off the vlogs with a thought of the day see now today's thought of the day is you can't try but you can't please everyone you understand me I say? Because somewhere down the line when you do something, somebody are gonna feel like you should do it another way. You understand? So the best result is or the best way of going about this is try to please yourself first. If you do something and then you like it, you know what I mean? Stick to it away. You know, don't make nobody tell you how them fig figure more or less things supposed to be done. You know, worse when time you have something to do with you. You understand me I say? Yeah, because people always are going to have an opinion. And you can't stop that, no matter what you do. You see me? One will be pleased, and another one is going to be like, okay, and please. You see me? So, big up and bless up to each and every one, man. You know, at the end of the day, we all have a mind of our own. You see me? So, with the mind of our own, we all can make our own decision. You understand without anybody really getting involved or telling you how really to live your life. You see me? Because at the end of the day, if there are any downfall should be happening, you are the one who is going to feel some type of way and feel like you should have stick to what you have started. You understand? Yeah, man. Big up and bless up to all our people. You don't know, so we like to kick off the vlog with international news and then we kind of bring it down to the local news. See me? See? And right now, we are turning international news. Um, SIP, rest in peace. Rest in peace to OJ Simpson. Yeah, yeah, died 76 years old. A lot of people know him as a football star. A lot of people know him as a movie star. I mean, my first time when I really hear about O.J. Simpson, I re what I really know of him, there was like, I think he was going through some kind of tra tragic incident in his life wherein I think he was facing life behind bars for the murder of his wife and one of her friends. You see me? Yeah, and I mean, he was acquitted of that. You know, so it was a free man to walk, and I guess some part of America did love what's going on, and some part was sad. You see me, because they were saying that he was the one who committed the murder. If you ask me, well, I don't know. You know, I'm not living in his shoes. You understand me? I say, if he do, you know, the truth will come to light one day. I mean, you don't know how the American justice system work. I mean, a case can be rest or put to rest, and then them reopen the case because them find new evidence and them thing there. However, I think no evidence was found or the evidence that they found wasn't really proven against his case to be of any success. Simpson was an American anti-hero. He achieved fame as a football player and notoriety as a murder suspect. He was ultimately found not guilty in the deaths of his former wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ronald Goldman. So now another thing we want to talk about, there's a thing that I hear on the news that um, I think two ladies, two ladies went to a casino and they leave their babies in the car. I think one age 10, one 2, and I'm not sure. I think there was another kid. You know what I mean? But imagine, imagine two ladies, you know, they, they say, and them gone, I guess them gone for hours, gone, gone, gamble, and you left your kid in the car. You know what I mean? A wag one. Really and truly, you have to go gamble that much that you have your kid to take care and you couldn't take care of your kid. You really have to step, left them in the, in the vehicle by themselves, especially a two-year-old. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, whoever know about this situation, but tell me now, really and truly, you know, 
you can't leave your, your, your youth in a vehicle and then go and gamble. That's really uncalled for. That's just show how low of your thinking is. That's just show how low your meditation is. You see me? Yeah. Now, big up Dale Elliott, one of Jamaican comedian. You know what I mean? I think he recently did an interview, you know, in England. He's in England, I think, promoting or doing some work. And he recently did an interview. No, and I think the host was asking him. I just gonna point out one of the things, or maybe two, if so be the case. And one of the things where the host was pointing out to him is that if if um he would really if he'd suck a lady too. Now let me ask one of the question. Would you put somebody foot in your mouth? You know what I mean? Especially a lady, would you put a lady foot in your mouth? Would you put a man foot in your mouth? You see what I say? Let me know what I go on. Another question I think where they ask him say, I mean if you know, it, it, will has, it all has to do with some sexual question. So he wants me to make somebody eat it, eat him in back door. You know, eat him bottom, so to be a, so to be exact. You know, and he answer, he say, yo, listen, as a Jamaican, we don't uphold nothing to do with them kind of things. Eh? And true Jamaican who was raised up in a certain kind of way, yeah, you know, so we, 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 we deal with things, you know, in our way we are in certain negativity, we don't really deal with it. No, some people like what I go on with this whole situation about eating, you know, eating back door and them things. And let me tell you something. To be honest, for my daughter, me no one here so my daughter do them the thing there. You understand? Much as if me have, much as my wife wouldn't want her to do them things eh? You see me? I wouldn't uphold her tell anybody to do them things eh? And the things are disgusting. Some people might find it appealing. You know what I mean? Some people have appetites to them things, but you don't know me. I say, not even for you, too. Some people love put foot in their mouth. Yo, come on now. All them things, eh? By all means, if that's the way you please your lady or please your fellow, well, go ahead and do it. You see me? But don't bring them things there around here. You understand me? I say, and big up to all of the people them who stand for righteousness. You see me? Who stand for true morality. You understand me? I say, yeah. Big up. You don't know certain things funny, you understand? Mm -hmm. Just think about it and look at it. How you look if you, you, you find out that you to do certain things, you know? Yeah. I don't have no other fetish there. I don't like foot and them things there. You don't have foot in your mouth. Where your foot are doing in my mouth? What if I said I really like Where it? Where foot are doing in my mouth? Where foot are doing in my mouth? People say it can be pleasurable. So if I said to you, like, I really like it, if someone... I don't even know where you walk, man. You cut your toenail then? Uh, yeah, foot. I get... I get... Regular pedicure. Suppose me now if you push my foot in your mouth. Yeah, suck it. So you're out here a suck foot? Mm -hmm. Maybe one day you might. No. Mm -hmm. I'm not eating no ass. What about yours? What? The other way around. What? What if someone did that to you? <laughs> Where them just what? No, I got ever happen. Never. Never in a life. You never allow it. That will never ever happen. You might enjoy it. Yeah, because no. No. So you don't really make somebody eat your ass? No, me, no. No, that is a non negotiable. What if it was your wife? Man, that no look good. Big up to Niger boy. Or I should say maybe Mr. Vegas. I think Mr. Vegas recently released a song. We call Niger Bounce. Niger boy have a bad and he have a bad dance. Anytime you watch him like he have a, a joyful dance, I would say. You see me? Yeah, he dance look good while he always do. You know, although that's like his signature move. So big up to Niger boy. Big up to Vegas. How we go? Uh -huh. Go! 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 No have no dealings taking care of big kids. You know, his kids them big so they need to take care of themselves. Let me tell you something, see? This is my opinion. And I think, as a millionaire, I'm not sure if Buju is a millionaire, but I know that he must have money or he must have make money. In music, they must sell. People are streaming music. So he must make money. So, if anyone of them kids them need certain type of money, Regardless or despite the fact say him and them talk or not him supposed to can say alright cool you know what I mean alright 
let me show you where all this thing coming from. So we recently, there was recently an, a, a lady that came forward and was talking about Bojo Bantan and was saying that Bojo Bantan leave his son in America to die. You understand? Nobody know of the situation. Nobody know what really go on there. But the lady said the kid was living with her for a moment. You know what I mean? And then she tried to feed him, close him, or try to take care of him, give, give him a time period, say, okay, you can stay with me until a certain time, but then you have to get your act together. You see me? Yeah, we all know when once you, Jamaica and foreign are two different places. And if you don't know, let me explain something to you. I remember point out something for you. Nobody no mind putting you up when you go a foreign or when you are foreign. But nobody now gonna take on the responsibility for you take care of you for all of your life. Like you have to make something in your life. You understand it doesn't matter if you want their own family or if you want their own friend or friends or families. You understand there comes a period in time where people are gonna want them space. You see what I mean? I say, and not mind you, not everybody stay that way. But me I tell you, that's how foreign set up people will put you up, but them will put you up for a period of time. And when them notice you're not making progress of yourself, them will go want you go. You understand me? I say? So anyway, when a Bojo Bantan son has passed, we don't know what really what was the outcome. You know what really happened wherein you know Bujo find Bujo we know what happened with Bujo um the back of Jamaica but at the same time we were saying he should have taken his son with him back to Jamaica. Now who knows? Who knows who the kid was living with? If the kid was living with his mother, we know so sometimes the mother them like to take full responsibility at the moment, at the time. You understand? But anyway, the kid passed away. Now the lady is blaming that Bujo Bandan should have taken his son to Jamaica. Should he who knows the situation what the son was living under? You know, maybe he tried, maybe he didn't. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. We don't know the situation. But anyway, if he had that opportunity to bring the youth to Jamaica, I think he should have. You know what I mean? Anyway, to make long story short, now you have I think he's you he want to fly down the body. So imagine that. I think it probably would have been cheaper if he did make the youth, knowing the youth situation, if he did fly him go to Jamaica. Knowing his situation, maybe things would have been cheaper or easier for him. So now, I think he's going to fly the body to Jamaica because I guess he want to bury him down there. Anyway, you have one of his daughter now, which is brother to this son that has passed away, saying that she want, she want to go to Jamaica to see the funeral. But however, she don't have any money. I'm not sure. I don't want to... This is my opinion, like I said, and I keep on repeating that because I don't want you people to blow my thing out of context or, think, or take it the other way. Seeing... Anyway, I don't know the situation and I know maybe she, I guess the daughter is going to start a GoFundMe page because she don't have the money. She wants to raise $3,000 so she can fly to Jamaica to see her brother final rest. Seeing, anyway, I don't, not sure if she reach out to Buju and, and ask and say, yo, daddy, you know more, come to the funeral, can you take care of me, sponsor me and my son so at least we can come down and come see the funeral because we don't have the money right now. Seeing. We don't know of that situation if she tried to reach out to her pops. Anyway, I think she came public and she would bring bring it out in the public eye that that she, she want to start a GoFundMe page. Now, everybody kind of blame Buju and I said Buju need to take care of him kids them. Then you have some people that say, oh, his kids, them, some them are adults, so they need to take care of themselves. Let me tell you something, see? If you know, make money in life, if you have it like that, yo, take care of the youth. If them need the help from you, if them reach out to you and them need the help from you, or if them are trying to reach out to help from other people and then you notice what's going on, can help the situation, help the situation. Not everybody is in that space we are in, you know what I mean? Yes, they can help out a situation. Sometimes, you know, they can. But at the same time, me know if Bujo make money, so I mean, if you can help him, you them. Nothing is wrong with helping an adult. That adult is your bloodline. You see me? So if you help your bloodline, Nothing wrong with helping your bloodline. You see what I mean, I say? Yeah, so don't make people reach our people and say, oh, the kids them big now. No, at the end of the day, are your kids them. At the end of the day, whether them want to get old and you still have to take care of them. If you have the money, you can do it. Take care of them because you know what? Bottom line, are your kids them. You understand enough for the people them out of road picnic. You know? And if you're like me, say, if you're a millionaire, if you make some money, you take care of you them. As simple as that. You know, big up and bless up to each and everybody who has been supporting my channel. 
ATA International Vlogs. And like I said, if you're not yet a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. And if you like this content, leave a comment in the comment section below. Sometimes things discuss over here, I mean, yeah, you might not like it, but at the same time, like me said, you can't please everybody. You understand? So, some people are going to agree, some people are going to disagree. At the end of the day, you just do, do what you think is good for you or what you think, yeah, some people might, you know what I mean? Majority are going to like this or majority are going to understand what you're trying to, the point you're trying to bring across. You see me? Yeah, man, big up and bless up to each and every one. Let me see if before I go, let me see if there's anything else I want to touch on before I go. I think there was one more thing. I know, but let me check and see if there's everything or if I cover everything that I wanted to discuss with you people. Oh yeah, last thing before me go. Let me talk about um Let me talk about uh Luciana. I recently see see like a video circulating with Luciana jogging around. Like some big jet for me, you know? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, buddies. You know, I'm not being a man. I'm not saying whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burger man. Burger man. Next artists are a host, Han. You know what I mean? And I mean, everybody kind of blame. I say, oh, I say, oh, the youth wrong and, and, and them things. And again, nobody really know what really transpired between the two. All we know of a few words is being thrown on the. On the on the stage and we guess we see just Luciano just chug with the mic out of the out of the host or the artist and or whosoever it be. But I just think it's just a repercussion or it's just like a we don't call it now. Ah, there's a word that I'm looking for. I can't find it right. Reflex. You see me? Because just the way how the youth um jog the mic out Luciano was singing, then Luciano passed the mic to one of his his, his, his friend on stage then the person starts singing then you have a the next person walk onto the stage and grab the mic out of the hand now I say it's reflex because Luciano see all of this and then things start boiling up inside of him so I guess him just jog about the mic now the youth well Luciano jogged the mic from recently come out and was styling Luciano some kind of way and I call him some kind of way yo listen we all are big people you know what I mean? And I guess Luciana say, man, the guy is coming from far, so please, yo, you know, you know, share love. Share share the love. Instead of sometimes we are share a lot of negative things, we share some positive things too. I try to big up the artist, I try to tell them, yo, you know, live good among each other. You see what I mean? I say, yeah. Now you don't know the thing, but make sure so you guys go over to my official YouTube page at African The Artist and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I got a new song coming out today, and the new song is called that it will be dropping at 12 midnight and you can view this on my official youtube at african the artist and this single or not even a single this song is from my ep that i recently dropped which is called motions ep and it's a five track ep and it's music for everyone and i guarantee that you're gonna love the music if you go over and you will listen to the music you see me yeah Guarantee you're gonna love it and this song is called dance and as the title say, you know, it's dance. You see pray. Yeah Show me the move where you bring come. Yeah, yeah, yeah Anybody can catch this a symptom Get wild. It's a mad bull syndrome You see me From your feel the bass in your waist just groove Groove Rock to the beat then you Move Move yeah man, go and go check out the video when it drops 12 midnight. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe also to my vlog channel, you know, at African The Artist. You know what I mean? So at least I can drop regular content for you guys so you guys can see what's going on in the day and life of African The Artist. ATA, dancehall rockstar, you know the thing. Make sure you guys follow me on all media platforms at African The Artist. Spotify, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat. You name it, that's that. Fully. Then now, so we go. I'm out. Big up and bless up to each and everyone who stay tuned. Stay to the end of the video. Hear that love.